The AM Show. OK, we're nine minutes away from seven o'clock. Good to have you along. Now, it's the $1.4 billion tunnel uh, that isn't yet open, despite promises from NZTA that it would start easing Auckland's traffic woes from about the start of April. Now, the rumours in Auckland have been flying. There's been issues with concrete, ventilation, sprinklers, flooding, all sorts of things. What happened? Did it happen? Joining me to shed some light on this is NZTA Auckland Highway Manager. He's got the job of explaining himself and the NZTA, Brett um, Glidden. Brett, lovely to have you on the programme. Good morning. What happened? Yes, yeah, so a lot of the rumours are incorrect, I can assure you of that. Uh, what happened is we're testing a whole lot of equipment to go into this tunnel, fire life equipment, really critical equipment. And some of it just wasn't operating as we wanted to, so we had some issues with some um, valves that opened the deluge system and some of the issues with, with the jet fans. We're now over those, so we've got those systems working, and so we're now in the phase of testing the tunnel as a whole complete system, so we test all the equipment together. Right, so the sprinklers weren't working? They were working, they just weren't working as we needed them to work, so we had to do a little bit of remedial works to make them work, which we weren't going to open the tunnel until it's safe. No, you need so critical. What, were, they, were they sticking? I mean, did the water not come out? Yeah, the, the valves were sticking and it wasn't all of them, it was only a few of them, but we're not going to open it unless it's 100% right, so we just wanted a bit more time to get that right. OK, so you can confirm all that's now fixed? Yep. And we'll open when? Can you give us a date? Oh, I haven't got a date, because what we're doing now, once you test each individual part, we then start testing the system as a whole, so all these systems have to run together. So we're in that phase at the moment, we're testing it as a whole, and then we'll get the final sign-off, and as soon as we've done that, we'll open it to traffic. What do you reckon, two months? Yeah, hopefully in the next couple of months, that's what we're saying at the moment. As soon as it's ready, though, we're going to open it. Okay, so how will this change Auckland traffic? And it's not just Auckland as well, because if you're coming from Hamilton and you want to head into the city in another direction, you can come through this. It, it'll significantly change Auckland or will it not? Oh no, it absolutely is going to make a huge difference. It finally completes the motorway network. People have been asking this for a very long time, so it completes that missing link. It provides an alternate route through Auckland to State Highway 1, full motorway connection, so you can avoid Central Motorway Junction and, and State Highway 1, provides a direct link to the airport from the CBD and um, it also provides way more resilience for our, for our network. So it's going to make a huge difference. Hey, when you modelled this, because you started building this five years ago, when was it first agreed on? When did you first model this? Was it ten years ago, was it? Oh, yeah. Well, actually, it's been in the pipelines for longer yes. than that. But it sort of kicked off about uh, 10 to 11 years ago. OK. And did you plan for another 200,000 immigrants in Auckland? Yeah, look, we have models that we model out into the future, so yes. it did allow for that. It's probably, um, the traffic volumes are probably higher at opening than what we originally thought. That's but an understatement, isn't but it? But as far <laughs> as the life of the project, because this is infrastructure you're going to have for 100 years, uh, we, we do model well out into the future. Right, so have you built this thing for the number of people now living in Auckland compared to, say, six, seven years ago? Yeah, we have. It's got, it's got six lanes of traffic, three in each direction, like many parts of our motorway network, so right. it, it's, it's not undersized. Is there a possibility it might not work? I, mean, I don't want to be sort of doomsday guy here, but is there a possibility that the traffic just snarls up in there and it might not work? Oh, look, I think a really key point here is that we've never said it will fix peak congestion in, in the city. So there's still going to be a morning peak and an afternoon peak, and the tunnel will be part of that. But off peak and any other time of the day, it's going to make a huge dif difference. All that traffic that currently r runs through all those local suburbs is now going to be able to use this link. It's going to free up local roads and provide a direct link to the airport. Can you believe that we didn't do this decades ago in Auckland? It's true, isn't it? Well, yeah, but it's great. It's just about ready now, and it's just about done. All those people pulling their hair out in Auckland motorways right now, this will be a relief for them. Too right. Good yeah, on you, very close. Hey, good luck. Appreciate your time on the programme. Thanks for explaining uh, the situation. Uh, we're five minutes away from 7 o'clock. News is next.